Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 amazing hidden features that you will find on your iPhone that regular users probably never knew about or never even used any one of them on their iPhone. These features are actually very, very useful and I suggest you learn them and use them on daily basis on your iPhone. Now, before we get into those, make sure to smash the like button on this video. That helps out a lot for the algorithm and of course makes this video do much, much better. So let's get started. Here are 15 features only iPhone power users will know. All right, first of all is the ability to call any of your contacts directly from the home screen or from the lock screen. Now you can do that, of course, using the shortcuts app. Now to do that, what you need to do is go ahead and create a shortcut. You tap the plus button and right here, tap on add action. And what you can do here is just search for call or maybe even message or FaceTime, whatever you want to do with that contact. So you want to quickly message them from the home screen or lock screen, you search for a message. You want to call them, you search for call or FaceTime, whatever you want to do. So let's go with call. So here we have call, so you just tap on it and then it gives you the option here to choose your contact. So go ahead and do that. So once you have chosen the contact, of course, you can add a name there for a shortcut that can, of course, be the name of the contact. And once you're done with that, you're good to go. You have the shortcut created. Of course, you can customize that shortcut as well. Now, the options here are two different ones. For the lock screen, what you need to do is go ahead and go here to the widgets panel, tap the edit button, tap to add a widget and go ahead and add the shortcuts widget. Once you have added the widget, you can go ahead 3D touch on it, tap on edit widget and you can pick the widget, the shortcut actually directly from here and choose whichever one you want to display there. And I can have multiple of those and of course even put them on a stack and have multiple contacts right here. Now you can see if I'm on the lock screen, all I got to do here without unlocking the device, just slide like this and I will have a contact here and I will be able to go ahead and call this contact directly from here without even having to unlock my device. Now you can do the same for the home screen, but what's really cool is that on the home screen, you can even have that as an icon. You tap the three dots right there and you tap the share button. And what you can do here is tap add to home screen and even pick the picture of the contact. So let's go ahead and choose a picture here. So from the library of your iPhone, you can pick a picture of that contact, click choose here click add and then you will have the contact right on your home screen and you can be able to go ahead and call them directly from that little icon. On Safari on iOS, when you click on a link, you will see that it will go straight to that link. Now, what if you just want to open that link in the background? You can do that, of course, by going to the settings of your device and configuring the settings to actually open the link in the background or by 3D touching on the link and then choosing to open it on the background. But there is a way easier way. You just tap with two fingers on that link and as you can see, it will be opened in the background. So there we have the link just like that. Tap with two fingers and any link will be opened on the background tab. When on the App Store, now you have filters when you're searching for apps. So let's say I want to search here for widgets. So so if I search for widgets right here, you will notice at the top now we have filters. So widgets, we have clocks, calendar, countdowns, battery, whatever we want. So if I choose clock here, you can see it will filter them based right there on that filter. It will give me even more options here. So I can choose world right there. It will filter them even more. And you can see I can now find the exact apps, the exact widgets that I want. So anytime you're searching for something, on the app store don't forget to check out the filters right there at the top just below the search bar a feature that i don't really know why apple is not adding to ios is the ability to lock your pictures with a passcode or even face id or touch id there is a trick to do that even though there is not an official feature to do that you can do that simply by tapping on the share button on any of your pictures and tapping on the notes button Right here, you can see we can save that on a new note and just tap save right there. Now, once you're done here, make sure you go to the notes app and just open the note where you have the picture saved. You go ahead, tap on the three dots and tap lock right there. And you will be able to actually log this with your face ID. And you can see once it recognizes your face ID, it will show the lock right there. 
I can just tap there and you can see now the note has been locked. Now what you can do now is of course go to the photos app and just completely delete that, that photo and you will have it saved under that note. Whenever you need it you go ahead open the note and you can save it back to your camera roll. A really cool feature of iOS is guided access but it also has a ton of options that probably a lot of people don't know about. So of course guided access you go to accessibility and you will find it right here go ahead and turn it on it basically lets you lock on any app you want so if i just triple tap right here you can see it will start basically activate guided access but what you can do here is also have some really cool and very useful options now once you're on the screen right here what you can do is just circle any area that you want to actually disable so you can see I can just circle the address bar right there and now I can of course resize this and tap on resume. You can see I can work anything right here on the screen tap anywhere but I won't be able to tap on the address bar right there. So any part of the screen that you want to disable it will completely disable anything the touch everything will be disabled on this part right here. You can see nothing works there so any part that you want to disable you can do that just like this simply go ahead and just circle any part you want now you can have multiple ones so circle there there anywhere you want and you also have here options so if you go here you can disable basically any of the functions of your iphone starting from the buttons on the side the volume buttons you have motion you have keyboards touch you can completely disable the screen of the iphone and you have a time limit as well so these are extra options that you will be able to find on the guided access feature now another cool thing about guided access is that you can set it to be automatically turned on for any app that you want and that can be done by going to shortcuts and just go right here under automations and then go ahead and choose here app now what you want to do here is choose the app that you want so basically we choose here app store click done and then go ahead and tap next tap on add action search for guided access so here we have start guided access you choose that tap the next button disable that click done and now you're good to go now every time maybe for your kids or for whoever you want you don't want to have them access to one of your apps you can just go ahead turn that on basically once they open like app store or something like that you can see the stuff here everything now has been like locked into this app and you won't be able to get out of this app now the cool thing about automations is that it lets you basically set like per app settings so let's say you have like different apps that you want to set different volumes different percentage volumes for any of those apps or maybe you have an app that you want to have the volume turned off all the way down every time you open that app so you don't forget to do that manually you go to shortcuts go to automations and again just tap on create personal automations and search right here on app choose the app so let's go again with app store here so click done now what we can do here is go ahead and choose for set volume so here we have set volume and just go ahead and choose any percentage so in this case i will choose zero percent right there tap on the next button disable this and click done and now what we can do here is just try it out so you can see the volume there almost all the way up open the app store you can see it turns on off all the way down automatically so that's really really amazing and of course very very useful now on the email app you probably have a ton of emails and a ton of drafts now if you want to go to your drafts you can do that quickly from anywhere on the email doesn't matter where where you add on the email in which folder you're at you can just do that by simply tapping and holding the new mail button right there it will show you the option to create a new email and of course it will also give you your drafts right there so you can just go ahead and continue composing that email directly from here or if you want to from the list here of your drafts you can go ahead and delete them one by one most people nowadays probably don't use assistive touch on their devices and even if they do they probably use it as a home button but there are a lot of features within assistive touch and one of them right here you go enable assistive touch and you will see this cool feature so you can see we have here custom actions so you have single tap double tap 
and long press you can do all those with this button now here under double tap you can see i've chosen this feature right here scroll to the bottom now you will have a bunch of options there i will show them in a second so here if i'm on an app you know on ios you tap the status bar to go to the top what if you just want to scroll all the way to the bottom all I have to do is double tap there and you can see it shows me this button which of course I can place anywhere I want and you can see it will actually scroll all the way to the bottom automatically I just tap on it it scrolls itself so you can of course place it anywhere that you want to actually scroll to the bottom really really cool and of course very very useful now if I go here you can see we have scroll down scroll left scroll right scroll up you can also set shortcuts to be enabled using double tap or just a single tap or press and hold on the assisted touch button and you will have of course all the different like system stuff right here app switch you have camera you have lock screen if you want to lock your device or maybe just restart your device double tap there and you can easily go ahead and restart your device using assistive touch now when taking a screenshot of something and sharing it with someone Probably if you want to hide something, you will use this tool right here and you will just hide something like this. But that can actually, by editing it, can be uncovered really quickly and easily and someone might be able to see any of your hidden info. Did you know that if you tap the plus button, you will have here these shapes. So if I choose this one right here, let me just change that color. So if I choose this one, I can place it anywhere I want and I want to cover let's say this part right here tap there and choose the filled one and just like that I can cover any part of this screenshot as easy as that without having to use the pencil tool which again can be uncovered really really easily and when sharing pictures on your social media or anywhere you want to add some text to the pictures you probably go ahead and download an app from the app store you can actually do that by tapping the edit button and tap right there on the markup button and then tap the plus button you will have here a button for text you can go ahead and add any text you want so just like that add any text you want and of course you will be able to actually edit it as well so you can change the size there change the font change the alignment and of course always change the color as well now when you're typing something on your device you know that you want to move the cursor anywhere you want to tap and hold the space bar but what if you want to place an emoji somewhere you don't have a space bar there just tap and hold this blank spot right here and you will be able to move the cursor anywhere you want or if you're on the landscape mode then what you need to do is just tap and hold here where it says space and then you will be able to actually do it now app library is one of my favorite ios 14 features it lets you quickly find apps when you're looking for an app probably you will look at the folders here or even go ahead and go to the search bar right here but there is a very very easy way to do that all you have to do is just tap on the letters right there and it will move to the apps of course starting with that letter that's how easy it is so just tap on any letter that you need of course which the name of the apps starts with and you will be able to quickly find your apps Another really useful automation that you can create on iOS 14 is the ability to turn on orientation lock based on time or apps. So let's say you want to turn on orientation lock when you go to bed, of course, so that your iPhone doesn't rotate the screen by itself. You can just go ahead, tap the plus button, tap right here and choose the time of the day right there. So you go to bed, let's say at 11 p.m. You can go ahead and create the automation from here tap next and just go ahead and simply add the action to turn on orientation lock so let's go ahead and choose orientation lock you have toggle here go ahead and switch that to turn and choose turn on right there click next disable this and now you're good to go at that exact time you will have orientation lock turned on automatically now when you want to select text on your iOS device, you have the cursor right there as you can see it. What you can do is double tap anywhere on the screen to quickly select the last word on that sentence. Or what you can do is triple tap to actually select the entire sentence. So it's as easy as that. Double tap or just go ahead and, and triple tap and you will select the entire sentence. Now you know on iOS you have the ability to shake to undo you can see right here but if you do that by accident you can just again shake and you will have the option to tap right here redo so you will have the option to redo as well 
So that's pretty much it for this video guys. These are some really really useful iPhone features that are not that known and of course a lot of people probably have never used them on their device. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one.